Hey guys, Rob here with Chai and Coaching. We're gonna talk about how you can get your SIM card and bank account set up, so come check it out. Whenever you go to sign up for a bank account or SIM card, make sure you've got all your documents, your ID, your passport, you might need your I-20, uh, make sure you have the address where you're staying so you can get all those things set up so you can fill out all the proper paperwork. We are here at the fitness center, uh, Chats and Reflections. This is a great place. We've got, they've got several options for bank accounts, SIM cards, so we're going to come take a look. So upstairs, we have an option here for Cricket, which is a great cell phone company. Um, it's got good coverage all over, so a lot of students are signing up. The more people that get on a plan, they're able to get more of a discount. And so, yeah, today there's Cricket. Sometimes there's other companies around too, but you can come check this out. Downstairs we have BBNT, which is another bank option around here. We've got Bank of America also over there. So these are a couple other options where you guys can come get some bank accounts here at Chatham Reflections. Hi, I'm Manik. Uh, I'll be joining UT Dallas for the fall 2018 in the computer science program. And Hi, I'm Anugra. I'll be joining the same course and we'll begin our classes on August 20th. Basically regarding the bank accounts, if you're under 25 and you can get a student account, preferably go for Chase because they offer some $100 cashback in case you get 10 or more transactions get done in the first two months. And, and uh, for those who are above 25, uh, BBNT and uh, Bank of America have uh, really good offers. So BBNT has zero maintenance fees and they also give $50 uh, deposit. Uh, to you yeah for the referrals in three months and for Bank of America they only charge five dollars a minimal fee without the checks and uh, you get uh, you get the you know proximity uh, of the ATMs of Bank of America good yeah good service and also a very good app to do all the business in so that's uh, why I chose Bank of America mm -hmm. This is Chase Bank on Coit Road, very near to McCollum and the Target, so it's easy to walk to or on the bus route if you're on the west side. So a lot of the students who are under 25, um, they come to this Chase Bank. This is the Sprint store. Um, it's right around uh, Coit and Campbell and near the Target. And lots of students choose Sprint. It's pretty cheap. Sometimes you can get some good deals. A lot of people go for Sprint if they want a new iPhone. Um, in this area, sometimes it doesn't have always the best service. So some students say it doesn't have as good a service compared to others, but Sprint is an option um, for especially new phones. Here's AT&T also around Court and Campbell, uh, a phone service. A little bit more expensive. Uh, Cricket has the same service as AT&T. Cricket is just kind of the cheaper version of AT&T. This is T-Mobile, another cell phone option. Um, getting a family plan, several people together, it can be pretty affordable. This um, site is at Coit and Arapahoe, just a little bit down the road from Campbell. So T-Mobile is another option um, that students can get together. So here's the Tom Thumb at Coit and Campbell, and inside the Tom Thumb, which is on the bus route, there is a Wells Fargo Bank. This is another bank option. A lot of students who are 25 and older um, tend to this one because I think they get a free zero balance account. So yeah, check out the Wells Fargo inside of the Tom Thumb, and there's other Wells Fargos around too. And there's, I think there's a Wells Fargo on campus at the, for an ATM at the UTD Student Union. Hey friends, thanks for joining us again at Chai and Coaching. Hope this will help you to be successful as an international student here in America. Please subscribe, like, follow, share, comment below um, or on our other platforms online and continue the conversation, help each other out. So yeah, it was great having you join us at Chai and Coaching and we'll see you guys next time.